selected from thousands of submissions. For the very first time, the winning pictures have been collated in a book, as well as being displayed on the big screens across the country and online. It is the UK's biggest competition of its kind, and two of the winning photographers, Laura Lewis and Samuel McElwee, are with us, along with Mark Hartog, who is the founder of 1854 Media, which runs the exhibition. Good to see you all. Thank you Thank for coming you. in. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Mark, what is it about this exhibition that makes it so special? Is it the fact that it tries to show us what Britain is like? Yeah, I think, you know, I think what the images show us is really a snapshot of multicultural Britain today. And, you know, it celebrates diversity and togetherness and, you know, the... You know, this is a wonderful image yeah. of, a, of a rabbi in, in his back garden in Hackney and on the same road there's a, um, a synagogue and a mosque and, a, and the oldest queer bar in the area and yeah. it sort of sums up multicultural Britain in a, in a really nice way. There's something very British about, about some of them as well uh, and it is a portrait of Britain and yes. although there are lots of changes within it you can see that we are still to some extent, you know, reserved but also you know very very unique in terms of our identity yes and I think that's really what it tries to tries to capture it's you know there's there's so many cultures and subcultures of Britain in, in so much diversity and you know, this sort of celebrates every race and religion and background and you know, gender and sexuality um, but at the same time there's a kind of Britishness that binds us all together yeah and I think you can see that really well when you look at the portraits um, sort of as a collective and you know obviously the other thing it does is bring art to the public on a, on a scale that's kind of unprecedented. Millions yeah. of people are going to see the exhibition. Yeah, you will see them across big screens all over the UK and, of course, you can go online. Uh, we've just seen a glimpse, Samuel, of your winning picture. So let's bring Samuel's back up again. This is a, a reminder of the name. Is she called Shannon? Shannon. Shannon. Yeah, now tell us, tell us the story behind Shannon. Uh, my best mate got a little pug puppy and uh, the first kind of week of taking it out, everyone's reactions when we were walking on the street were just like, yeah. heart, their hands coming to the heart. And I just thought I have to capture this. So I, I got a, a bunch of my friends and, and colleagues together and you know who I thought would have a good reaction. And uh, Shannon was one of the last ones. I actually got her on a break, put her in a taxi, took her to the studio. And um, I told a bit of a little white lie about the whole project and got them to close their eyes and then shuffled the little dog under this little plinth yeah. and um, told them to open their eyes. You've and, captured uh, pure joy there, haven't it you? It is pure joy <laughs> yeah. and it is absolute joy, yeah. especially yeah, in a weird times last year when it was all photographed, but yeah, it's just the best reaction I could have. <laughs> She's just fabulous. Absolutely stunning picture. <laughs> let's, let's bring Laura's picture. Now, Laura, you will recognise, they'll certainly recognise at least one of these individuals, very well-known man, Will Young, mm -hmm. and his partner in crime for his podcast that he does. Yes. Tell us about this experience and, and kind of how you got to be the, the person behind the image. Um, so I knew Chris and he told me that they were planning on making a, a podcast called Homo Sapiens, which is for the LGBTQ plus uh, community. And they didn't, they, they sort of described it a bit to me and said it was going to be a bit like Woman's Hour for, yeah. the, um, for, for that community. And so, yeah, I just turned up at Will's house one day. We all had a cup of tea together. It came about very organically. We, we had a quick discussion about things like grey gardens and there's a Tim Walker photograph um, where some, you know, in bed. And we just all kind of came up with it together and it happened very naturally. And this was the picture that they chose. And Nelly the dog, who was um, Will's dog, came and just sat on the bed yeah. at the right moment. And yeah, that was that was it, really. It, has a perfect, it is the perfect moment, really, isn't it? And if you tried to <laughs> stage that with the dog and everything, it would have been almost impossible, I imagine. <laughs> How does it feel, both of you, to have, to have been selected to be part of this final process? A bit, a bit overwhelming, I think, for me. Um, the support from you know, complete strangers. I've been getting messages, uh, and it's just very kind of honoured to be selected amongst such an amazing group of photographers yeah. that um, you've chosen, I guess, and, uh, and the uh, to judges as well, obviously. Well deserved. Well, you know, Mark, give us a sense of, of how the, the process goes, because I must imagine with all the entries you get, not a lot of entries. How do you narrow it down? It's very hard because the quality of work is every, this is the third edition and, and each time the volume of entries and also the quality is, is getting better and better. But we have a panel of fantastic judges drawn from different parts of sort of arts and media um, and they really go through a, I said to the guys before that I kept popping down to see if they were all still standing because they, they, they really do get passionate about the yeah. portraits they're seeing and you know, they've sort of got a dual purpose. They're, they're looking for, in, in an individual portrait, it's, I guess it's kind of trying to find the, the extraordinary and the ordinary. It's like, it's that everyday moment. Yeah, there are some well-known people like Will 
but the majority of the exhibition is everyday people of Britain drawn from all sorts of different um, sort of backgrounds. Yeah. Um, so, you know, individual portraits, I think they can judge, you know, based on the merits of, 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 of what they're seeing in that sort of moment of, of humanity. Um, and as a collective, they're sort of tasked with trying to, it's difficult, you know, paint, find something that, you know, without, you know, specific direction, is yeah. you know, find something that sort of, you know, is representative. And I think you can really see that when you look at the book, and the book's a wider edit, there's 200 portraits in the book, and in the online gallery, you know, you can really sort of see this sort of rich tapestry of, um, you know, Will, Will, Will Self did the forward for the book and he, he put it really nicely. He said there's a, you know, everybody's unique, but there's a sort of Britishness that's as delicious as a Dundee fruitcake. And yes. that's, just, that's yeah. a really nice way of, <laughs> yeah. of sort of putting it. A fantastic way of summing it up. We are out of time, but thank you so much. I hope Will and Chris are proud of what you've achieved. They should be. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Um, you can see the pictures yourself uh, by going to the website. You'll be able to find out our details. I've had to get the book there as well. It is uh, portraitofbritain.uk and keep your eyes peeled on the big screens across the UK that are being tube stations and things like that. You'll be look, looking at these images throughout the uh, month of September. Right, stay with us still to come tonight.